Way on the top shelf is a brand you might recognize. I always check these because some of them are worth in the thousands of dollars. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. You just can't beat October in Las Vegas. The weather has been beautiful, still about 85 degrees, a light wind. I am here at a Goodwill I haven't visited in several months. So let's go inside and see what they have. We will have to remember to look at the color of the day, items that are 50% off. We will grab a cart and go inside. Let's go thrifting. Well, that first cart was really, really noisy, so I had to get a different one. Color of the day is green. All green tags are 50% off. To the right is their Halloween section. We will check that last thing. But right now, we are in the hard goods. And it looks like they're restocking the shelves. These three carts on the end are all brand new treasures ready to be put out. Here is a box. I don't think this is ever so old, just made to look old. The hardware isn't very good quality, so I am going to leave it. Ooh, look at these. These are little candle holders, I think, with resin antlers surrounding them. I love the way those are put on there, but they're $5.99, so I'm gonna have to have a think about that. Some letters here. These are wood. I'm not sure what that says. Just miscellaneous letters, I think. Here's a guitar and a mirrored bass. This looks like it might be, no. It's not good quality enough to be Squishmallow. It's just a copy, so I will leave him. Let's see what they have on this cart. Little bird box, a Mickey Mouse travel tumbler. for six dollars that's just a bit steep for resale so i'm going to leave it let's start in the vases and florals here there's a candle it's buddha and way back here look at this sweet little bunny I've bought and sold these before and these are fun because you can stand them up like that and lean them against Easter eggs. They just look lovely in a display. And I just noticed I put him down on this fantastic Red Rooster Cafe and Bakery metal sign. Roosters are really, really popular at the moment. So we will definitely pop this in the cart. We're off to a really good start here. We've got our sign and our little bunny. Let's keep going. It's a big skull mug. That's plastic. Some terracotta plant pots. Let's see. Some wreaths, more florals and signs it's a lovely big glass uh, vase there lots of florist pieces i make sure to lift everything up and move things to make oh look at that what is it I thought for a second that it was a butter crock or a jam jar, but it has holes in the side. I wonder if it's for potpourri, maybe potpourri, or you could put a 
flameless candle in there but I just love the blue drip glaze really nicely made it's signed on the bottom four dollars we will definitely grab that this looks like a project piece oh it's very lightweight put this in the cart carefully want to have a peek at this super lightweight I think it's for pencils down here are two really nice decorative vases they are quite modern though so I think I'm going to leave those for somebody else We are in the holiday bits here. Fall is in full swing. So if you are a reseller, now is the time to be picking up those last minute Halloween decorations and starting to purchase and list all of your Christmas items. Here is a fall welcome sign. It's quite long, not ever such good quality. I'm going to leave it. A little rooster planter here. Somebody was desperately trying to see the maker on that. I'm not ever so pleased with the quality, so I will leave it. A little snowman mug. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Here is a beautiful marble wine bottle coaster made in Taiwan, only $3. I'm definitely going to pick that up. Ooh, that was lightweight. Did you, <laughs> did you see it fly up out of my hand? Yeah, that is a modern piece, quite damaged. Here is a little wax warmer, I think. There's some little Easter bunnies here, $2 each. Those aren't very good quality, very lightweight. I think probably either Big Lots or Dollar Tree items. We'll leave those. Oh, here's some more here. Look at him. Let's pop these up with their friend. Maybe somebody would like the whole set. It's a big mama rabbit. Oops. Yeah, we are going to leave her. We'll take our marble wine bottle coaster. Definitely vintage that. And keep going. Some collector plates on the bottom. I generally steer clear of those. There's just not enough profit to be made. Candle collection, those would be good for Halloween. It's this bowl. It's a very modern piece. Candles, always on the lookout for Glassy Baby. I was so thrilled a couple of months ago to find that Glassy Baby candle holder. Here is another little bunny. We'll put him over with his friends in just a moment. Finish up this shelf. Ooh, look at this. This one is a butter keeper. You pop your butter in there with some cold water in the main container and it keeps it cold. Really, really fun way to serve butter. It's a beautiful piece. It is $6, but I think there is still room for profit on that. Absolutely lovely, good quality piece. It's apple. That is not ever such good quality. 
some decorative pieces oh look at this raccoon <laughs> he is i believe a project piece he's really beautifully done the colors are perfect on him he's only a dollar we will definitely grab him. He could be incorporated into Halloween and fall and even Christmas. Lots of ducks here. Are they geese maybe? Ducks or geese? Let's put our little bunny friend over here with the rest of the bunnies. I can hear you all yelling at me now. I know I said I was going to think about these antler candle holders and I didn't put them in the cart. It's really important to do that. If you like something and you're thinking about buying it, do pop it in your cart just so that somebody else doesn't come along behind you and grab it and you are disappointed when you go back and it isn't there. Here are a couple of fun wooden dinosaurs possibly a good flip but just not my niche this is a pretty decoupaged box it does have some damage quite substantial and because of that i am going to leave it here is a wooden plane i might have picked this up but very unfortunately the propeller is missing so again we'll have to leave that and hopefully somebody who can repair those wood pieces will be by within the next few days and save them lots of wood pieces here cutting boards and frames we are in the wood baskets and shelves a little country pig the key originally had a heart in the middle here we are in the mugs having a look I am noticing that most of the price tags appear to be on the sides of the mugs which is nice so you can actually see the maker here's a fun Boston Terrier mug it's by Fringe I have many subscribers who have Boston Terriers so I am going to pick this lovely one up for a dollar we'll keep going There is a green Starbucks mug here. It's $3 and uh, Starbucks mugs used to be a sure thing. Now it depends on the individual mug. So at $2.99, I am going to look this one up on eBay just to see if it's a popular style. Here is a scary face mug that holds your cookies under your drink there. A couple of cats. Oh, these are very lightweight. I hesitate to pick up lightweight mugs because they chip and break so easily. This is a project piece gnome. And again, on a project mug, I will hesitate because you just don't know if the paint is uh, food safe. Next to the mugs are the glasses. Ooh, these are pretty. Two Shannon Crystal martini glasses. They're very, very thin and delicate though. So I am going to leave them for someone else. This, on the other hand, is Pier One. I recognize the design. It's a flamingo and its neck and head is the handle. Just checking for any damage. It is $2.99, so this is one that I will look up on eBay just to make sure that it's worth picking up. Here's a little candle holder. Let's see. Oh, this is a fun mug. Mornings are rough, lots of little dogs. Oh, it's a Burton and Burton. It is $4. But since we are looking up a couple of mugs, we will add this to the cart just to see 
what its resale value might be. There we go. Let's keep going. There we are in the kitcheny bits. This is a Knott's Berry Farm canister. Ooh, and a fridge jug. These are great to pop in the fridge with water in. So you have nice cold water whenever you need it. I like to pop a couple of citrus rinds in mine to infuse the water with a bit of flavor. This one looks like it, uh, it's very cloudy and uh, the stopper is a bit cracked. So I am going to leave it. Lots and lots of glasses. Glasses have to be really, really special for me to pick them up. Um, advertising pieces. I have luck with the brand Delirium Tremens. They have the little pink elephants on them. Uh, let's see if I can spot anything. Many advertising pieces uh, are flooded in the market. They come out with gift sets and uh, they're readily available. So ones you want to look out for are vintage ones that uh, somebody might have broken a piece of their set and looking to replace it. On the other side of the aisle is the kitcheny bit section. Got lots of clear glass pitchers and cups and mugs. There's some cobalt blue here. Just a very modern set, so we'll leave that. It's a pretty pink plate. Unfortunately, it has a massive chip on the edge, so we'll leave it. It's a little cracker barrel plate here. $3, little cow. Serving platters, baking dishes, some Corel bakers over there. Sadly, they don't sell as well as they used to. This is a clear depression glass dish. If it was any other color but clear, I would definitely pick it up, but the clear ones just don't sell very well for me. I'm checking it with my black light to see if by any chance it glows and as you can see it doesn't. I'm very torn. It is a pretty pretty piece. It doesn't have any damage and it is on sale. Only $2.00. But I do have quite a lot of inventory at the moment, so I'm going to put that there and leave it for somebody else. You can tell so much by picking up a piece. These chip and dips are very lightweight, not great quality. I'm going to leave them as is that dish. Here is a beautiful buttercrock, the second one of the day, lovely blue and white stripe. Blue and white always does well for me, so we will put that in the cart. That's so funny. <laughs> I rarely find the butterbells, and today I found two. Here's a fun little cookie canister. Sadly, it's chipped on the top. Oh, I love these. It's a beehive design, sh powdered sugar or Parmesan cheese shaker. These sell really, really well for me. It's going in the cart. I'm making my way through the furniture area, back to the artwork. This is an interesting little table. Oh, it's for a sewing machine. It's an old sewing machine table. 
some chairs. It's a little wicker ottoman. Lots of large artwork. Always check any frame I find interesting. Lots of pieces today all stacked together. The artwork aisle got a bit busy so I just rounded the corner and noticed this beautiful basket under a chair here. Look at the colours on this, the oranges with the red and the brown. I think it's a modern piece, I don't think it's a vintage tribal piece. The colours are too vibrant but it is coiled, it's beautiful quality absolutely lovely I don't really know ever such a lot about these uh, it's three dollars the weaving is consistent and tight it's not herringbone around the outside so it's not a Navajo piece but we are definitely for three dollars going to take that let's make our way back to the small art pieces here so if we can navigate through looking for any stitchery cross stitches are selling really well for me at the moment and we'll make our way into the lamps got quite a few lamps in this store Lots of shades, all different sorts. This one's interesting, sort of a jungle safari theme with the cord is caught here. By looking at the cord I can tell that it is a modern lamp and it's not ever so heavy so the glass isn't very thick so I think we will leave that yeah it is made in China I looked up and uh, saw that I had missed this beauty way on the top shelf it looks to be solid wood and that cord is definitely vintage just the two prongs there that is amazing so I <laughs> I got it down off the shelf it's really really heavy it's actually solid wood beautifully made superior quality I just love the multiple colors of wood there it's $12.99 way on the top shelf is a brand you might recognize I always check these because some of them are worth in the thousands of dollars. This is a Ray Dunn ceramic waste bin. I'm just going to make sure it doesn't have any chips, cracks or damage. It's $6 but that's a really good price because I think this piece is worth right around $50. It looks like I need to rearrange my shopping cart. It's getting quite full. I was just doing my second go round of the store as I do before I leave and they brought out another cart. So let's have a peek in here and see if there is anything else we want to pick up. As I always say if you've found some good items keep an eye out to see if there are any more similar for example I found Raydun I found a lovely coiled basket and a beautiful wood lamp so do keep an eye out just to see if somebody has donated more similar pieces those are herb scissors for snipping herbs lots of florist vases over here 
Some little jewelry box pieces. That one at the back's a bit worse for wear. Canisters. This is a little plant planter here. I think that's a target piece. I'm just going to take a minute to show you how I look these mugs up on eBay. I've typed in mornings are rough Burton mug. That's the brand Burton and Burton. Let's see what comes up. Quite a few results here. Not looking very good. Prices are low. $15, $16 and under. Let's check the solds. We're going to go back up to the top, push filter, show more. We're going to scroll up until we see sold items. We'll click that, click over on the side, and I am seeing that none of these have sold. So we are going to leave it. From a distance, I thought this was a piece of vintage imperial glass candle wick pattern, but it has a Bleederman's Taiwan sticker on the bottom, so it's a modern piece. I am excited. I love looking through the Halloween section of the store. Let's see what we can find in here. Got some pumpkins and ghosts. Looking for anything vintage, anything fun and interesting. Those are some hanging lights. I think those are Joanne's or Michael's. Look like some table runners down here with owls. Not very good quality, brand new. Glass pumpkin is sadly missing its coil at the top. That guy is a big lots piece. Oh, look at this. This is vintage Halloween. You can tell by the feel of it. It's $3. Really nice bisky feel to it. It says made in Taiwan. $3. We We'll take the little ghost light. Let's leave that there while we scan the rest of the shelf. There's no one else in this section at the moment, so I'm safe to leave that there just for a second. You can tell contrast of the modern pieces the quality just isn't there on most of them look at this this is pottery barn i believe unfortunately it's uh, damaged on the edges some little mummy plushes oh here we go this is a vegas knights uh, plush this is Chance. He is the mascot. We will definitely put him in our cart. Some cookie jars here. Little modern ghost. Pumpkin candle. Lots of fun pieces. We're making our way around the corner to see if there's anything else on the other side. I think these shelves hold mostly new items with retail prices. Hats and masks and costumes. But you never know. Oh, look at her. Looking up high on the very top shelf, 
beautiful little vintage piece little girl in costume she is a mold piece a project she's six dollars but i absolutely love her she's beautifully done and i love the fact that her little halloween bag is a glossy orange color really lovely lovely piece it looks like she's uh, from last year and didn't get sold that's amazing so fun i love her eyelashes we will definitely pop her in the cart let's make sure we don't miss anything else that's a shame i think this guy was a clock but his whole bottom section is missing and he's quite discolored oh way up on the top behind these pumpkins is a plug-in jack-o-lantern I'm always on the lookout for these to add to our display at home and have to go around here and reach there we go looks to be in great condition a really fun one five dollars we will pop him in the cart too can't believe I overlooked this humongous box right in front of the shelf. It is a massive um, animated stacked pumpkin. This is amazing. I think it's vintage. It looks to be in good condition. It is $30. Six foot. We'll take that. And I just noticed this darling little witch ghost. Bring your own broom, she says. <laughs> I love it. Here, <laughs> here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. Ziggy is supervising. Hi, Ziggy. <laughs> First, we have this beautiful vintage marble wine bottle coaster. It's made in Taiwan. It still has its original sticker and original little uh, felt feet, which are quite worn. This has obviously seen some really good use. I love it when pieces uh, look like they've been loved and used and they have a history. It was $2.99 and I am going to ask $25. Next, we have a lovely little Easter Bunny doing a headstand. He's so fun. As I said, I love to stand um, these up against an Easter egg. Actually, I have this Easter egg that I haven't yet sold here. Look how fun he looks next to the Easter egg. Just doing a little headstand. Imagine this is filled with Little M&M's, pastel M&M's, absolutely lovely. I paid 99 cents for him. I am going to ask $15. Next, we have our clay, I believe he's clay art uh, mold raccoon. He's absolutely gorgeous, painted beautifully, black and gray. Just a lovely, lovely piece. I paid 99 cents for him. I am going to ask $25. He would look fantastic in any fall display and even would carry through till Christmas. Raccoons are really hard to find actually. I, I don't often see them. And this piece is so sweet. I wouldn't be at all sad if he didn't sell. <laughs> Aren't these amazing? I did um, have to 
give them a little think about because they're five dollars a piece but they are antler resin antler tea light holders and don't they look amazing in front of this gorgeous coil basket here i've put a tea light in there so you can see how it looks just amazing i'm so glad i picked these up as i said i paid five dollars a piece I am going to ask $15 a piece for those. What can I say about this gorgeous, gorgeous basket? I think it is a reproduction piece. I don't think it's uh, vintage or old by any means, but it's really nice quality, superior quality, nice tight weave absolutely gorgeous colors let me zoom in for you so you can see there is a knot in the center there it has a string for hanging right here i believe i paid let's have a look three dollars for it and i am just not sure of the value of that so I am going to ask that if you are interested that you send me an offer on the basket back here we have our red rooster cafe and bakery sign it's a little bit hard to see there we go much better it is on wood with a wire hanger I paid four dollars for it and I am going to ask $20. I absolutely love these beehive style shakers. I have one in my own kitchen. You can use it for powdered sugar or palm cheese, whichever you prefer. Just a lovely design. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $15. Next to it, we have our Pier 1 Imports Flamingo Mug. It's a really nice size, a little bit of an oversized mug. The flamingo's head and neck is the handle. It's really, really fun. I just love it. Be a great Christmas present if you have a flamingo lover in your life. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $20. Look at the vintage Halloween I found. Absolutely stunning. I couldn't believe when I looked at this little girl mold that her Goodwill tag said 12 2021 and she didn't get snapped up last year. That's amazing. I just love her detail, her little eyelashes, and her glossy pink ca uh, orange candy bag there. She is signed, and I can't tell if it says 1977 or 1971, or if it says Letty. I'm not sure, but she's definitely vintage, absolutely gorgeous. She was $6. I am going to ask 30 Similarly with these two, this is a vintage bisque piece, really nice size. It is marked on the bottom. I think it's T-I-C-Y, made in Taiwan. It is painted bisque, two little ghosties. They hold a tea light. Just a lovely, lovely piece. I paid, I believe I paid $3 for it. And I am going to ask $35. Back here we have Chance. Chance is a Gila monster. He's our uh, Vegas Golden Knights mascot. He is really super fun. I believe I paid three or four dollars for him and uh, just wondering is he missing teeth there 
or is he supposed to have a gap? I'm going to have to look him up and make sure he's not missing teeth. That's so funny. But he is probably worth about $20, $25. This is our absolutely phenomenal Ray Dunn ceramic waste bin. It is a heavy, heavy piece. It is floral design, has the word toss on it. Quite, quite heavy. There's the bottom. Original price was $25. Uh, six dollars is what i paid comps on ebay are running right around fifty dollars plus shipping i'm not ever so comfortable uh, shipping this but as many of you know i have really really missed having an antique booth and danny the niche lady my bestie has done something amazing she has uh, invested in a store she's having a store it's going to have several booths for resellers and i am going to be one of the resellers in her space so this is going to be one of the pieces in my booth if you're in vegas or visiting vegas please come down and see us i will have updates uh, in future videos i'll have footage of us decorating and moving in and stocking it's going to be amazing here we have our beautiful drip glaze pottery piece and i did a little bit of research and found out that this is actually a garlic keeper with its um, holes inside to allow air to circulate around your garlic it's an absolutely lovely artisan pottery piece it's signed on the bottom i paid four dollars for it i am going to ask 35 dollars and even though it is made as a garlic keeper you could absolutely use it for potpourri or as i said before uh, put a little flameless candle in it let's see Yes, really, really nice. Lovely piece. Love the blue. So funny that I found two butter bells. These are so fun. You would soften your butter slightly, pack it into the bell portion of your uh, butter bell. You can refrigerate it just briefly to make sure it doesn't fall out. And then what you do is put cold water in here just a little bit in the bottom and uh, it keeps your butter cold but not too cold to spread. I have this lovely one, blue and white. This one's uh, a Tremaine, Tremaine ink from 2002. And this one back here is a lovely, lovely pottery piece signed on the bottom. Just gorgeous glazed inside and out with an unfinished rim on both pieces super piece of art pottery i'm going to uh, i paid six dollars on this one i'm going to ask 35 and this piece i paid i believe i paid three dollars this one is going to be 20. here we have our super Little witch wall hanging, bring your own broom, she says. Little ghost in a witch's hat. I paid a couple of dollars for her. I am going to ask $20. Last but not least, who doesn't love a Boston Terrier? <laughs> Absolutely lovely mug made by Fringe. It's got uh, Boston Terriers in different little outfits. A bow tie, spotty pajamas, and it says Boston Terrier on the inside. It's got a lovely pedestal style base. I paid 99 cents for it. I am going to ask $18. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my trip to Goodwill 
and the haul. If you see something you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name and address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. Please do stay tuned. I purchased that stacked jack-o'-lantern pumpkin decoration. It's six feet tall and it is um, animatronic. It moves. So I have a little bit of footage to insert for you uh, at the end of the video so you can see how it looks all set up. Just a reminder that I am on Whatnot now. Whatnot is an amazing platform. It's auction style. So please, if you have not tried Whatnot, do sign up with my code. If you're brand new and sign up with my code, they will give you $15 in credit to spend on the platform. It's really, really fun. Do check it out. You can go in and watch the auctions just to get a feel of it. It's absolutely free to watch. You don't have to bid, uh, but I recommend you go in and get a feel for it before you start to participate. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. We have started decorating for Halloween and as promised, here is our assembled new stacked jack-o'-lantern animatronic man. He's absolutely fantastic. He lights up, he moves, and he puts the finishing touch on our balcony of spooky pumpkins, gravestones, ghouls, zombies, and witches. Bear just had a bath. <laughs> he is all fluffy and crimpy and soft. And he is very proud of himself. Are you clean? There. Did you go in the shower? Are you clean? Yes. There. Are you clean? <laughs> very clean. There. Are you clean? Are you clean? Are you clean? You good boy? Yeah. Boo. Boo.